Audio, is it working okay? All right. Good morning, my name is Tony Kranz and I serve as the Encinitas Deputy Mayor and I'm currently the North County Transit District Board Chair. Uh, we appreciate all of you who are able to join us today, either in person or virtually, and we would wish to celebrate with you in person. I understand many of my esteemed colleagues and elected officials from across our great region are participating in our Zoom celebration. And uh, they include Solana Beach Council Member and Board Vice Chair Jewel Edson, Carlsbad City Council Member and Board Member Teresa Acosta, San Marcos Mayor Pro Tem, and Board Member Sharon Jenkins. As we kick off 2021, the North County Transit District is excited to launch five new Siemens Charger locomotives into revenue service along with overhauled coaster passenger equipment. Uh, the new locomotives will replace locomotives that were originally built between 1975 and 1992 and have uh, nat naturally reached the end of their useful life. Um, our maintenance crews have been working with bailing wire and other uh, tools to try and keep them alive and have done a fantastic job, but it's very exciting to see this refreshed equipment. The new locomotives meet the latest emission standards and significantly reduce noise um, that our current locomotives uh, run with and are specifically designed to serve as the standard for the next generation of locomotive technology. The new Charger locomotives were manufactured in Sacramento, supporting our state economy at a cost of over $37 million dollars with key funding from State of California Senate Bill 1 revenues and $10 million worth of Carl Moyer grant funds provided from the San Diego Air Pollution Control District. We are very thankful for the funding received from the state and the APCD. As we launch these new locomotives into revenue service, we are also showing our progress in overhauling the current fleet of 28 bi-level coach and cab cars. Over the next five years, all of the bi-level equipment will be overhauled and received a new exterior paint scheme, new carpet and flooring, new more comfortable seating upholstery, LED overhead lighting, and USB charging ports at select seats. The overhauled equipment will look brand new. The rollout of the coaster locomotives and renovated passenger cars today is just one of the steps NCTD is taking in collaboration with our regional partners like Sandag to improve coaster services. NCTD has already placed an order for two additional replacement locomotives and two new expansion train sets that were funded by Sandag through the Transnet tax. NCTD expects to receive this new equipment in 2023 and after testing and commissioning activities are completed, we'll be able to increase coaster frequencies from 22 to 42 trains per average weekday. The increased frequencies will be leveraged with the future construction of Coaster Convention Center Station that has been fully funded by a grant received from the state's Trade Corridor Enhancement Fund program. Today's success and the future plans to improve coaster services are part of NCTD's five-year strategic plan to modernize and improve services by purchasing new vehicles for our rail and bus fleet, including zero emission technology, advanced transit-oriented development projects, and enhance the customer experience with new technologies and services like microtransit. Additionally, NCTD, along with Sandag, is advancing initiatives to improve the speed and reliability of transit services. I am sure you share my excitement and enthusiasm for the launch today and our plans for the future. I thank you on behalf of the NCTD Board of Directors for being here to celebrate this exciting event. Now I would like to invite Congress, Congressman Mike Levin to the podium as he has a special recognition for NCTD and Sandag. But before he speaks, I want to thank him for his leadership in helping the region garner 
funding for bluff stabilization and signal modernization. Very important uh, that the resources are available to do both of those things. Critical safety issues for the low sand corridor here in the San Diego region. Congressman Levin has been laser focused in his support for NCTDs and the region's key priorities. And for that, I'm very grateful. Congressman Levin. Well, good morning. Thank you, uh, Deputy Mayor Kranz, for that warm introduction. It's great to see you. It's great to see Mayor Blakespear. I'm just uh, so excited to be with you this morning. It's a major achievement uh, for NCTD, for SANDAG and all involved. You know, Coaster Service in San Diego has been proudly moving residents, tourists, and commuters for more than 25 years. The Coaster has offered nearly 30 million rides since the start of service in 1995. And coaster riders enjoy the luxury of having a commuter railway that travels through some of the most scenic coastline in the entire country. I think we've got the most beautiful congressional district in the entire country. I'm proud of the collaboration that has made today possible, as well as the progress in protecting the rail corridor, especially in stabilizing the coastal bluffs under the tracks in Del Mar. And there's a lot more to do. The investments we're making are going to add so much value to our region. They're going to provide reliable, environmentally friendly, and comfortable travel options for our residents and our visitors. Very briefly, I want to mention that we worked very hard as part of the CARES Act last year. Throughout COVID-19, of course, so much revenue lost throughout our communities. And in the CARES Act, NCTD received over $95 million. I'm fighting very hard for something now called the American Rescue Plan. You've probably heard about it. The draft proposal is offered by the Biden administration, includes $20 billion for our transportation agencies and a lot of other uh, resources that will be needed in our community in the months ahead. Uh, in addition, I think it's a time to go big and bold on infrastructure. And so I'm going to be working with NCTD and SANDAG and all of our relevant transit agencies and everyone interested in building back better with the jobs of the future, whether it be in transportation or clean energy, we're going to do all we can to work with the Biden administration and work with our local stakeholders to ensure that we fight for the resources to come to our region and to uh, NCTD and other great agencies. So with that, I'd like to present NCTD and SANDAG with a proclamation. I'm not going to read the whole thing because it's a long one recognizing the importance of this day to our district and also the greater San Diego region. So thank you to NCTD. Thank you to SANDAG for your commitment to transit excellence. And I'll present this proclamation to both Tony and the fantastic mayor of the city of Encinitas, who does such a great job as well, leading on transportation issues throughout our region, Catherine Blakespear. Well, good morning, and thank you to our great Congress member, Count Congressman Levin, and to our NCTD chair, Council Member Kranz from Encinitas. This is a really exciting day. My name is Catherine Blakespear, and as well as being the mayor in the city of Encinitas, it's also my great honor and privilege to be the chair of SANDAG, the San Diego Association of Governments. And I'm proud to stand here today with representatives of the North County Transit District to celebrate the start of service of the new state-of-the-art Siemens locomotives and overhauled coaster cars. As the Regional Transportation Agency, SANDAG is proud to have supported NCTD in the expansion of their coaster fleet by contributing more than $50 million to purchase two full train sets, including two new locomotives and 10 new coach and cab cars. 
And I just want to pause here to highlight that the allocation of $50 million from SANDAG was a controversial flashpoint at the SANDAG board. And it was evident that not everybody saw these new train sets as a priority for our region. And so it fell to um, advocates and elected members of the SANDAG board, like Council Member Kranz and me and others who care about transit, to effectively articulate that in order to have a functioning train system, you have to have high quality trains. So this $50 million is dedicated to making sure that we have trains that are in a state of good repair and that they are state of the art and that they are not being held together with shoestrings. And so we were really excited to be able to commit to this $50 million because it's a very real thing that we can see now. So just a couple years ago, we allocated this money. And now, as you see, we have these trains right here in the background that are going to be serving passengers immediately. So I'm very proud to be able to support things like this, and I really want to thank all of the different individuals who made this possible, particularly the NCTD elected leadership and staff who articulated to us what exactly they needed and allowed us to help fund it. As Deputy Mayor Kranz mentioned, this major investment is part of our larger effort to expand rail and overall transit ridership throughout the San Diego region. The investments are critical as the Low San Rail Line is the second busiest inner city rail corridor in the nation. That's very busy, second busiest in the nation, serving 7.6 million passengers annually and moving $1 billion in goods and services. To be successful, our agencies must make travel easy, reliable, and inviting. The addition of this new fleet today is a leap in that direction, which is complemented by our collective success in double tracking nearly 75% of the rail corridor to date. We are adding capacity to a critical north-south travel system, supporting connections between where people live, work, and play, and where they want to go, and this will help meet our region's transit demand. The rollout exemplifies goals of SANDAG's 2021 regional plan for creating a balanced transportation system through what we're calling the five big moves, which is helping to create complete corridors of travel options, increase access access to transit opportunities, and meet our state-mandated greenhouse gas emission goals. I'm proud to stand here today to help celebrate the rollout of these new locomotives and coaster cars to our region's transportation network. Thank you. And now I would like to introduce County Board of Supervisors Chair and MTS Chair, Nathan Fletcher, who would, could not be with us today, but wants to share in the celebration. Thank you, Mayor Blakespear, and thank you for your tremendous leadership in all that you do. Uh, it's really great to speak with you today as the uh, chair of the San Diego County Board of Supervisors, uh, the chair of MTS, and the governor's appointee to the California Air Resources Board. Uh, today is truly an exciting day for the North County Transit District. The addition of new lower emission and refurbished trains into your fleet uh, will significantly further our regional goals of addressing air pollution, the climate crisis, and our regional goal of increasing transit ridership. Two years ago, when I was elected chair of MTS, I said that great cities, great regions have great transportation and transit systems. And I believe that now more than ever. I appreciate the collaboration and partnership with NCTD. I'm proud of MTS's commitment to zero emissions, moving aggressively towards zero emission buses over the next few decades, and to align our two agencies together to have the same goal and the same intention and take the same positive steps of providing clean air to the residents of San Diego County is a great step. The addition of these new state-of-the-art Siemens locomotives is exactly what all transit agencies need to be doing. It's so important that we come together to transform our transit system to lower emissions and move in a new direction. As a car board member, I know acutely our challenges that our communities face when it comes to clean air. Exposure to diesel emissions contribute to asthma, and cardiovascular disease, and even makes individuals more susceptible to the negative impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. The environmental justice of air pollutions are vitally important, and we must all quickly move as fast as we can to provide clean air to our communities. We have to, and we will be, regional leaders. And so my congratulations to NCTD on taking this important step uh, for your commitment of what you're doing uh, and, and where you are headed as a part of a, a broader regional effort. And I am proud to partner with you and work to provide more convenient service, more comfortable service, service that provides cleaner air 
uh, to each and every person throughout our region. Thank you very, very much for letting me join you, uh, and I wish you all the best. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you, Mike and Catherine and Nathan, who joined us virtually. And before we share a surprise with the group and officially cut the ribbon on these new coaster vehicles, I want to extend a sincere thank you to all the individuals and uh, individuals who contributed to this effort. Our current board and immediate past board members, our partners at Sandag, the Siemens team members, Bombardier, and last but not least, our committed staff and contractors at North County Transit District. And I would like to especially recognize Matt Tucker, the executive director of NCTD, who has been focused on advancing the goal of the board, the policy of the board, which is to make our transit services more dependable. He worked diligently to put together the funding opportunities for these purchases, and it's a significant investment in our transit system, um, both in the North County as well as regionally down to the convention center. A lot of very great things happening, and I'm looking forward to the next few years as we continue to roll out both equipment and capital improvements to the rail corridor that will make a significant difference in the uh, dependent, dependability of our system. And the, the goal, of course, of all of these improvements is to welcome the public back to transit, which, of course, with COVID has been quite the challenge. Um, but I invite you to ride the new coaster, whether you're headed downtown or to the beach or to our downtown Encinitas, which has some fantastic restaurant opportunities for everyone. And NCTD is here to offer you a clean, safe, and quiet ride on these brand new trains. And now we are excited to share with you a little preview into the inside of the coaster passenger cars and highlight the process it took to get here. The coaster has been in service for 25 years. It runs between Oceanside and San Diego along the coast. The overhaul program is important to our future vision for expanded operations. The coaches are in their midlife phase right now requiring this overhaul. An overhaul is basically we bring in a old, outdated car that we gut it to a complete shell and basically we put a lot of upgraded parts on it to make it better and make it look new. The frames and the core of the coach cars were all in good enough shape to rebuild them. The locomotives were not, so we ended up with brand new locomotives. They're the Seaman Chargers, and they are tier four, much quieter and much less polluting. So the overhaul process is a highly developed and coordinated plan. We pull one coach every three months. That will complete all 28 cars by the end of 2026. The car rolls in, first thing we do is we start ripping all the seats out, upholstery, seat bases, carpet, all the poles in there, partitions, and anything that's on the inside is out. We'll start stripping the paint. We'll put this bio-friendly chemical on. We'll leave it overnight. The paint will actually start to flake off by itself. The next morning, come in with a power washer and help the process further along. The painting process will begin with the color teal at the very top and then the gray. After that, we install the stencils and then finish off with the blue. So after painting is complete, we lift it up in the air and we install everything new, including the trucks, suspension system, brakes, and airlines. The teardown's already been done. It's already been painted. Windows are back in. So now we can actually start putting all the interior back together. The interior upgrades will involve new carpeting, new seats, new vinyl covering, as well as new USB and power ports for the, uh, allowing the customers to charge their phones on their uh, commute into the city. I personally rode in one of the test trains that we've overhauled and it feels like a Cadillac compared to the old ones. It's all new airbags, all new shocks. The ride quality is 100 times better. Yeah, we're proud of the entire process. This is, uh, this is an exciting time as we uh, commit to our customers and our passengers to increase service, to increase reliability. It's exciting to see uh, the change, the investment, and the commitment into the fleet and the, to the network. The importance of having these overhauls is that it attracts new riders. We need to get people out of their cars and 
and public transit is a great way to do that. During COVID on the coaster service, no, we've lost a lot of our ridership. We've used this as our opportunity. So we're gonna be ready when the passengers come back. We're gonna be ready with new locomotives, we're gonna be ready with new coaches, or we're gonna be invigorated, and we're gonna be ready to move the public.